have a look at the data extraction examples. So in this case here, what do they say? The literature search using the above approach resulted in 125 relevant papers. The primary studies considered are listed alphabetically in table one. Uh, one thing that you can also do is, although it's not related to data extraction, but having a table like this is also a good approach that can go in the appendix other than the reference list, because reference list can have some other papers other than your primary studies. Each paper was read thoroughly by one of the authors to identify the opportunities and impediments of blockchain technology in food industry. In addition, each paper was categorized according to the PP, PPT aspect as one more author in the team verified those these independently. So it's not does not give a lot of information in this data extraction uh, description here but this is something could be a text textual description. And then if there is a table, then, then you can add that table as well. Uh, this is an example from Naveed's paper. Uh, in this step, we recorded the information from primary studies. A uh, data extraction form was created to record the relevant data. The information was extracted from each of the primary studies. Context information, how information, context information is extracted and represented, types of adaptation, types of camla develop camla is i think for context aware mobile learning applications and so on so this is their data extraction demographic data was extracted and included from the included publications to be later used for cross analysis so what was taken from here the title authors type of outlet journal or conference name of the outlet publication year full citation geographic location where the study was conducted. Uh, for some of you, this may be relevant uh, because you are looking at, the, your research question is looking at uh, studies in different countries. Research methodology, types of participants, number of participants, duration of the study, types of apps or technologies, and so on. So this is all the information that is extracted from each research article. So these are the data items. Uh, the following details were used for coding the data in order to answer our research questions. So it does not say which research question was addressed using which data item, but I would suggest that if you can have that explanation in your article, that would make it even more better. The first author performed the first level of data extraction. So this is the next thing that you can cover in, in this section as well as who did the data extraction and how was it validated. So first author did uh, first level. Uh, and then the other authors also contributed. If they have contributed, you can mention their contribution. Okay, another example, a total of 118 criteria of analysis were developed for general mapping of the literature, classified in three structural dimensions. The criteria include article year, article title, year, database, authors, first author's country, journal, JCR, number of items, Article citations, research methodologies, keywords, aims, justification, main gaps, and thematic access. So a lot of these criteria would apply to most of you. So you can see or learn from here. The criteria provided significant insights for identifying the research topics and drive the descriptive and thematic analysis as well as to understanding the importance and need of research in this area. So this is going into the synthesis part. Uh, so we will, I'll skip that. But for data extraction, uh, this is what they uh, they covered here. Yeah.